Discover your resilience. Have a happy life. Recover from life's problems. Discover life hacks for a good life. Life hacks are simple strategies, skills or clever tips adopted to make life easier, more fun and keep you feeling good. So what are they? Feeling good, having fun. Isn't this what we all want? And we want it all the time. Biologically, our bodies are geared to search for and put into actions ways to feel good and have fun. This is why drugs are so popular, both prescription and non-prescription. Alcohol, smoking, gambling, sex addiction, video games, theme park rides, we're all driven to find ways to feel good. So what are the life hacks that make us feel good but are also good for us? These life hacks that I'll be telling you about are the good for your bodies and they nourish your body and nourish your mind and your emotions. So stay to the end of this video to find out the very best life hack of all. Having a good life comes down to just five large life hacks. Now you need to start focusing on each of these and answering some questions. The first one is connection and relationships. What relationships do I need in my life to feel good? The second is what am I going to do with my life? What do I like doing that I have some aptitude for and that will help others and something that I will get paid to do? The third is what am I going to be? Who am I? What do I stand for? The fourth is a big one, resources. How can I get money, good health and education, a house and maybe a car? The fifth is daily life hack practices, otherwise known as daily good habits. And we'll talk about in this video what those daily good habits are that you need to cultivate so they become second nature. So let's go through each of these hacks. The first one is connection and relationships. That's the basis of a good life as we know, is love and connection. Firstly, we need to connect with ourselves. We need to be good to ourselves and nurture ourselves. And then there's connection with others. We need good, close relationships with a few others who are our family or friends. These can be just a few people, even one or two, that we can rely on to help us in times of trouble and who we help in turn and nurture when they need help and also to have fun with on a regular basis. The second major life hack we need is to find something to do with our time. It should be something or some things that we love to do. We know we're good at them or we can learn to be good at them. In other words, we've got some aptitude for those things. And it also needs to be something that people will pay us to do. In other words, it provides a good or service that is making a contribution to other people's lives in some way. The third life hack is answering the question, what am I going to be? Ask yourself, who am I? What do I stand for? And what won't I stand for? The answers to these questions help us define our values in life. Write these down when you think of them and refer to them often. Examples of values are things like curiosity, serenity, courage, creativity, and authenticity. Our values keep us on track with the life we want to lead. The fourth life hack you need is resources. In order to live our best life, we need resources. We need money, good health, an education, housing, and transport, usually a car. Now the mistake many people make is that they think all they need is resources, and they are wrong. If you purely focus on resources and ignore the other life hacks, 
then you will not be able to work out why you're not having a good life. I'll be creating more videos on each of these resource life hacks coming up. Now to the final life hack, which is the most important of all. The fifth life hack is our daily practices or daily habits. These are essential life hacks that make life fun and keep you feeling good 24 seven without the aid of drugs or alcohol or any addictions. They are gratitude and appreciation, living in the present moment or mindfulness, acceptance of how things are right now, even if things are not what you wanted. Kindness to yourself and others, otherwise known as empathy and compassion. Cheerfulness, enthusiasm and enjoyment. And these can be consciously chosen. You need to focus on the process, not only the outcome, and get a measure of detachment on the outcome. And know that you can always decide your own responses in any situation. And finally, it's important to always retain hope. We'll be creating videos on all these micro life hacks over the coming days. So subscribe and keep watching. Thanks for watching this video. Our homepage has many videos already on these topics. So check it out and also our website. And keep on watching our videos and improving your quality of life.